Running a DeFi protocol on-chain is not an easy task. You need to manage everything and automate tasks when it comes to rebalancing pools, deploying new markets, or maybe adjusting protocol parameters. And if you mess up, there are severe consequences. Hackers might exploit it and hack your protocol to drain the funds from the users. Like what just happened with the Sony Finance hack where $20 million were stolen due to a wrong order of operations in the time lock contract. So how do you protect your protocol and make sure it's running smoothly? We will have a glimpse behind the scenes to how Seamless Protocol uses Open Zeppelin Defender relayers to do just that. We will also see a demo of the tool, how it looks in the Defender dashboard and how you can get started automating your operations when it comes to your DeFi protocol and smart contracts. So without further ado, let's get started. Relayers help you automate and optimize on-chain transactions. When you need to submit a transaction to a smart contract, whether it's your DeFi protocol and your smart contract, or maybe you are utilizing DeFi strategy in other protocols, you can use the relayers to do so automatically. Relayers by Open Zeppelin will take care of the transaction submissioning on the gas optimization and all the nonce management. So you don't have to care about those things. Another huge advantage is that you don't have to store the private key of the account in your backend servers in order to launch transactions because you get an API gateway to the relayers in a very secure manner to launch these transactions using the relayers. Now, there are plenty of use cases when it comes to using relayers. Today in this video, we'll see in particular one, but these use cases might include executing a transaction on your smart contract to make a state transition to a new state. Maybe you want to update your own chain Oracle with some external data out of the blockchain. Maybe you have a breach protocol and you want to create a gasless better experience for users and submit the settlement transaction for them so they don't have to wait or pay for gas. Maybe you have a cool website and you want to airdrop some new tokens to everyone who signs up to incentivize them. Maybe you have an AMM or any other DeFi protocol that collects and generates fees and you want to get them and withdraw them and sweep them to a secure wallet every once in a while. Or maybe you're a hedge fund and you want to build a bot to manage some capital using DeFi strategies on different chains. You can do all of those using relayers and it's going to save you so much time and effort. And this is how it looks. This is the Defender Open Zeppelin dashboard. And inside this dashboard, we have this operate and automate, and we have the relayers tab over here. By the way, you can sign up for free using the link in the description below and get 14 days free trial to give a try to the relays tool and the actions and monitors that we'll see in a second. So inside the relayer tab, you can see that I already have a relayer, but you can click here, create relayer to create a new relayer for any chain that you wish. There are so many EVM chains supported right now, all the popular EVM chains and also testnet if you want to test your product. So once you choose a relayer name and select a chain, you can create it. And as you can see here, I have a relayer on the base blockchain. Currently, this relayer has zero ETH. I can fund it by click here, deposit funds, and then I will receive the address, which I can send some ETH. And this ETH will be used later on to pay for transactions. It's important to understand that behind the scenes, the Defender is creating an EOA account associated with this relayer. And for security, security purposes, you cannot import your own private key and create a relayer from that, but the Defender tool will create a secure account, EOA account for you, which you can access through this relayer and the API gateway. And at any point of time, you can also withdraw funds from the relayer if you deposited too much or something. Now, once you created the relayer, you can click here, edit, and you have different options to customize your relayer. You can see the network, the addresses, the API keys. You can create a new API key that will be used 
to access this Relayer and launch transactions using the Relayer, Relayer ID, and webhook notifications. So you can notify different channels when this Relayer is operating and sending some transactions. Now, once you created the Relayer, you can create actions, and actions essentially means transactions that you want to send to your smart contracts. And you can create here a new action and you can trigger the action based on different scenarios. Schedule every one day, one hour, one month, you can choose. Webhook is based on an API call, a webhook. You will launch this action and eventually the relayer will be the one that will launch the transaction. Monitor is very interesting. You can create some monitor rules over here in the monitor tab and based on some kind of on-chain event, it could be an event, a transaction that is submitted to a certain contract, maybe a function that was triggered, you can launch your action based on some event that happened on the blockchain or workflow. Now, once you choose based on what this action will be triggered, you can write the code of the action, what you want to do. And this is just a JavaScript code in a special format, which you can write here and add this automation. You have here a full repository for quick start of how to get started and write these actions to Defender, to the relayers and action models. And you have plenty of examples, so feel free to check out the Defender Autotask examples to learn more. Now, remember that we said that we can trigger an action based on a monitor rule. So you can jump over to monitor and create different monitor rules. You can use the mentioned templates over here to quick start and to get started fast, or you can just create a custom monitor and you can add all the name, the parameters for this particular monitor, which addresses do you want to monitor transaction filters, maybe you want certain transactions, certain events, certain functions, and what do you wanna do when this monitor is triggered? Where do you want to send the notifications? So again, we have monitors, which are monitoring on-chain events, and based on them, actions can be triggered and automate tasks on your smart contracts using the relayers, which are secure EOA accounts that are created for you using Defender, and you can access either by an action or just using the API key in order to send a transaction using a relayer. So this is how it works. And now we want to see a real DeFi protocol with a lot of money in TVL and how it uses the relayers feature to automate important tasks for the operation of the protocol. And the protocol that we're gonna see is seamless protocol on the base blockchain. As you can see, the protocol has more than $26 million total value locked, and it's a fork of Aave version three. Now, it's not only a fork of Aave because they build on top of Aave, so the base product is um, the market, as you can see, on base. And this is very, very similar to Aave, which is just a lending protocol where you can lend and borrow assets. They also forked Ampel Forth Gazers for staking because they have some staking for their uh, token. I think it's the SIM token. But they also created their own product and feature on top of the Aave lending protocol, which is called ILMs. ILMs stand for Integrated Liquidity Markets. And you have a complete article in their Medium page, what are ILMs and how they work. And I'm just going to jump right into it. So this is the seamless ILMs, as you can see over here. And you have different automated strategies where you can generate more yield on some blue chips. In that case, we have ETH. So if you want to maximize your yield on ETH of, or Rubstack ETH, you can use the ILMs by Seamless and they have different strategies. Let's take a look at this following strategy, ETH long 1.5X, as you can see over here, which you can generate 12 to 13% APR on your ETH. So let's just enter this strategy, and this is ETH long 1.5X. You can see here different information about the strategy, but I'm more interested about the strategy and how it works. So I'm gonna scroll down to how this strategy works, and we have here a nice diagram. So this is the ILM diagram for ETH USDC 1.5X long loop. 
So the way it works, we have the seamless protocol, the market, the fork of Aave, and you deposit ETH to the strategy. This strategy deposit ETH to the lending protocol, to the seamless protocol, and then using this collateral that it deposited, the ETH, it borrows USDC from seamless protocol. Then it goes to Aerodrome, which is an AMM. It swaps this USDC for ETH again, and then loops it again and again and again to maximize the yield. So it's gonna do it up to 1.5X because while doing it, you have some risks. Because if ETH drops in price, USDC is a stable coin, it's always stable. What happens is that your collateral goes lower and lower and this USDC might be liquidated. This is the liquidation risk. So it's important to understand that when you use these kind of strategies, you are increasing the risk of liquidation because every loop that you're doing, you're essentially borrowing more USDC for ETH. So if ETH goes down in price, you can be liquidated. And if you're liquidated, you get a penalty and you lose some money. So always when it comes to leverage strategies, you have to understand that you increase your APY and rewards, but also the risk of liquidation is being increased. This is how those strategies work. And if you want to get even a better yield, you can go to the ETH long 3x strategy, which generates around 15% APR. But the thing is that they're doing the loop three times. That's why you have more risk involved. Now, if ETH goes down in price, this whole strategy is in a huge risk of liquidation and the capital over here, the $500,000 can be gone, right? And this means that we need some kind of off-chain mechanism to always monitor this strategy. And in case ETH goes down in price, to rebalance the strategy, which means withdrawing some ETH from this uh, seamless protocol, from the lending protocol, then swapping it back to USDC and then paying back the loan of USDC to decrease the loan that we just took and improve the health factor and prevent from being liquidated. Also, we get some emissions by uh, supplying and borrowing these assets and we want to take these emissions, the yield that we generate, and reinvest it into the strategy to convert it from APR to APY, to compound our yield. And we need some kind of off-chain mechanism to do so. Now you might wonder how seamless do it automatically? How do they rebalance the start strategy in case of the collateral is being smaller or in case they want to reinvest this yield? And this is exactly where Relayers step in. So you can see here a screenshot from the dashboard of seamless protocol behind the scenes, how they use Defender Relayers. And as you can see over here, they have a relayer called Rebalancer on the base blockchain with 0.11 ETH. Now, in the ILM smart contract itself, we have a state variable called current collateral ratio. And if this collateral ratio changes significantly, we need to launch this rebalance operation. And that's exactly why they use Relayers Monitor and Action to do so automatically and seamlessly. As you can see here, they created a monitor rule over here, Loop Strategy version 4. And you can see that this monitor rule is monitoring few addresses of the strategy contracts and it listens to different events, to borrow, deposit, liquidation call, repay, supply, all these event conditions. So once they created the monitor rule, they can create an action that will be linked to this monitor and will be triggered when a certain state is happening in their smart contracts. And this is the action that they created, rebalance and notify version two. You can see that it's connected to the monitor rule and it's connected also to the relayer of the uh, rebalancer relayer and they have their own JavaScript code to launch this rebalance function. Now, if you go to the seamless protocol ILM uh, contracts, you can go here to SRC and take a look at all the smart contracts. They have the loop strategy and here we have the rebalance function. There is a lot of rebalance references, so we'll find real quick the rebalance, there you go, over here. We have the rebalance function. If rebalance is not needed, we're gonna revert the transaction. If not, we're gonna call the try rebalance function. 
And this is the off-chain element that is missing that you were wondering, like, how different protocols actually do that? How do they rebalance the strategies? How do they deploy new markets? How do they automate all their operations? They use relayers, actions, and monitor from Defender. And this is just a glimpse to behind the scenes of a real DeFi protocol with $26 million dollars TVL and how it uses this awesome Relayers tool by Defender to automate strategies with a lot of money. Now, as I mentioned before, there are plenty of other use cases for Relayers. This is just one example and one of them. I want to give you a glimpse to a real DeFi protocol and show you how they use this kind of tool and how you can do so as well. And you can actually try it yourself. Just use the link in the description below, create an account for free, get a 14 days trial and start deploying your Relayers. Maybe you have some capital that you want to use to create some strategies on different DeFi protocols. Maybe you created a DeFi protocol or a smart contract and you have some operations that you need to run on chain and you want to automate them based on a certain monitor rule or based on an API hook that you want to do a web hook and just launch operations. So feel free to go ahead and try this tool. Now, if you want to learn how to get started with the tool, you can always go to the docs. We have a lot of explanations here of different use cases and how to get started and use this awesome Relayers tool. You can also so go to the tutorial section in the Open Zeppelin Defender docs. Easy step-by-step -step tutorials on how to get started and use relayers, including all the steps that are necessary to make it work. If you have any other questions, make sure to ask them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.